Well, the weather's changing, that's for sure. See your breath out here. Took a load of light iron in. <clears throat> Kept a couple things out of this load, like this basket. That might be five bucks at the market, maybe, for somebody's bicycle. Some cords, stainless. These things I want to take the trill wire and the uh, transformers out of real quick. And we kept the electric motors on these fans. We'll cut them off of there. There's a little bit of wire on here too. And these, uh, here's that battery charger that I found. I don't know. We might have to try messing with it. 10 amp, 12 volt. It might work. But usually the ends break off. People give up on them, right? And then we got these wood stove doors. They got a little bit of brass on them and they're pretty rusty. The hinges are still there, but there's no latches of any sort. So I guess the latches were on the stove. I was wondering if maybe I could use one of these at the at the shop for the wood stove. I'm probably going to keep this one because it's not broke. This one's going to end up going. The inside lens is broke. Oh, there's the latch. I guess this was the latch, this handle. It's all rusty. And yeah, we'll come up with a, a different way to latch it, right? It's not that big of a deal. Actually, where's the... Is there even a plug on this thing? What the heck? They cut both ends off? What's going on here? I guess they did cut both ends off. That's weird. Why'd they do that? Huh. I don't know. We'll put it in the hoard. See if we can play with it or not. Got some insulated wire. We need to work on here. And might as well take that in. couple piles all over the place actually just been throwing it all over the uh, expensive yard or the yard that pays more money is paying 79 cents if you cut the ends off the plugs but the cheaper yard will give me 72 cents if I leave them on there so, I guess it's going to the cheaper yard. I don't want to drive 45 minutes for an extra couple pennies, you know what I mean? Probably should keep that. It looks like some good trailer wire, huh? Mm. Little piles everywhere. There we go, cut off. Did find this uh, chunk of copper the other day too. Looks like an air conditioner or something. Gas line for a water heater maybe or something. One cord is pretty nice. Maybe we should keep it for that paint sprayer, huh? Might be worth it. Ooh, copper.
plate. <laughs> That one don't want to cooperate, so. Then need a car feel for that bug boy. This one's all aluminum deck. That thing might go whole. That can go complete as iron and aluminum. So. I think cast aluminum's like 40 cents right now, so that deck's probably Seven or eight pounds, maybe ten. It's like four dollars. Take it in as light iron. I think it's twelve right now. Or I mean, uh, irony aluminum is like twelve cents. So I don't know. Might just go just for convenience. A little bit more ironing in this bin here. this thing for a little while. <clears throat>
right. Well, we got a small load of iron in here. Geez, I got cold on my shirt. But uh, we'll go see what this weighs. We got a little bit of insulator wire too. Let's so take that in. All right. Well, we just barely got a grant. It's 70 cents on wire, 12 on irony. 240 pounds of irony. So. Storage locker strap. <laughs> nice rim a big hole in it yeah eighteen dollars in light iron nine dollars and ten cents for cast aluminum table 35 cents it's 40 cents at the other yard it's not that big of a difference and uh 60 cents on that one rim 24 24 dollars at 40 pounds so another another grant just barely Well, we got the wheels on Snow White, so the uh, wheels and tires that came off of there is definitely going to go on this truck. This thing needs them bad, especially this these front ones from all the cul-de-sac surfing, all right? This one's the worst one. <laughs> the thing is super bald, down to the wear lines for sure. I mean, it's got some life left in it, obviously. It ain't showing wire yet, but we're going to put these tires, these tires on the Mitsubishi. And we found a sledgehammer. Kind of crazy homemade jobber, but it's a good sledge. I wanted to show you guys the peppers, too. These things are still growing like crazy. These cool nights. Look at this one. Ooh, that's a good one hiding in there. A couple really good ones. These ones I'm going to make into stuffed peppers at the beginning of this week. So, probably Monday. We've got some big ones here. I was thinking about maybe picking some tomorrow, try to sell them at the flea market, but I don't know. There's not too many here. Maybe I'll just keep them, keep eating them for the next week or so. This whole plant's falling over. <laughs> There's some big ones. There's another good one there. And these crossbreeds, I don't know what these are. They're like a banana pepper, but they all crossbred with the the bells. This one's turning red. Some of them look like bell peppers. So we must have had a, a banana pepper plant sneak in there. Get some on here. And these ones over here are turning pretty red. Right now I need to... I, filled up the wicking bed yesterday but some of them have some some womb damage on them we'll give these ones to the chickens but look at these red ones over here There's some good ones here we need to pick them maybe tonight yep all right y'all hit that thumbs up subscribe this whole pepper plant's falling over There's a bunch of red ones on it i need to get off of there Hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, share the videos. See y'all on the next one. All right.